coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sonic's two-place jet trainer set for Oshkosh debut. Boeing CEO states he'll scrap 737 MAX 10 program unless, and first images from Web Space Telescope dazzle. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Sonic's two-place jet trainer set for Oshkosh debut. Sonic's aircraft is accepting deposits for its Subsonics JSX-2T, a two-place home-built personal jet. The JSX-2T is intended in part to serve as a trainer for pilots seeking to transition into Sonic's single-seat Subsonics JX-2, upon which the new airplane is based. Construction of the JSX-2T prototype is well underway, and the aircraft will be on display at AirVenture 2022. The company says it plans to begin flight testing the JSX-2T in the autumn. Kit production will likely commence in the second quarter of 2023. Deliveries of kits to customers are slated to begin in the fall or winter of 2023. True to its trainer T designation, the JSX-2T features side-by-side -side seating and extensive commonality with its JSX-2 counterpart. The two aircraft are similar in wing plan form and loading, and share the same PBS TJ100 turbojet engine. The high degree of similitude between the JSX-2 and the JSX-2T promises to streamline pilot transition from one aircraft to the other. Sonix estimates the total cost of the completed aircraft to include engine, avionics, and interior upholstery will be in the neighborhood of $155,000. Sonix will offer quick build and ultra quick build options for $66,000 and $74,000 respectively. After the break, recovery of stolen aircraft unlikely. Aviation safety resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Recovery of stolen aircraft unlikely. In the days following Russia's February 2022 invasion of Ukraine, Moscow cobbled together legislation authorizing Russian air carriers to add aircraft leased from foreign countries to Russia's aircraft register, thereby effectively defaulting on extant leases and loans. The underhanded maneuver was prompted by Russian certainty in the imminence of Western sanctions that would have seen the aircraft repossessed by their owners. Five months downrange, foreign leasing firms have succeeded in repossessing only about two dozen of the more than 500 aircraft with which Russian carriers absconded. Flight instructor and student robbed after emergency landing. A student pilot and his instructor, after suffering engine failure and safely landing their single-engine airplane in a field near Cape Town, South Africa, were set upon by a crowd that robbed the pair and looted their aircraft. The light aircraft belongs to a local flight school and went down after experiencing engine trouble during a June 28 instructional flight. The flight instructor radioed the departure airport's air traffic control tower and requested immediate assistance, stating that he and his student were being robbed of their personal belongings by a crowd of locals who'd converged upon the crash site. Turkish Civil Aviation Authority cooks its own goose. Against the backdrop of the looming summer tourism season, the Turkish Directorate General of Civil Aviation has decreed that Turkish pilots seeking to work for foreign airlines must obtain letters of consent from their previous employers. 
The agency has declared it will hold the application verifications of pilots who resign without first obtaining such letters for six months. The Turkish Directorate General of Civil Aviation cites long airport queues and domestic flight delays as justification. Queensland Police to receive Bell 429 helicopters Queensland, Australia's northeasternmost and second largest state, will take delivery of three new Bell 429 helicopters for Queensland Police Service's Polar Fleet. The helicopters, which are slated for delivery in late 2023, will be used to patrol southeast Queensland and support crime-fighting efforts in the community. The Queensland Police Service will join the New South Wales Police, their neighbors to the south, as Bell 429 operators, with the latter having commenced operations of its trio of new Bell 429 helicopters last year. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Boeing CEO states he'll scrap 737 MAX 10 program unless... Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun has declared he will scrap the 737 MAX 10 program if Congress doesn't extend a regulatory deadline that would allow the model to enter service without upgrades to aspects of its crew alerting system. Carried out, Calhoun's threat would do away with the largest member of the MAX family, for which Boeing has to date logged 640 firm orders, and curtail job growth at Boeing's Renton, Washington plant, where the entirety of the world's fleet of over 11,737s has been built. In a broader, more troubling sense, the cancellation of the 737 MAX 10 would leave Boeing without a viable competitor to Airbus's highly successful A321neo in the lucrative long-haul narrow-body market. With regard to certification, Calhoun has asserted Boeing's current MAX 10 design is an all-or-nothing package that regulators must accept as is, which is to say without the safety upgrades for which Congress has pressed. Calhoun stated, quote, this is a risk I'm willing to take. If I lose the fight, I lose the fight, end quote. Calhoun added that he believes the MAX 10 is safe and posits that a 2020 law mandating industry-wide upgrades to aircraft crew alerting systems was never intended to apply to any member of the MAX family. After these messages, first images from Webb Space Telescope Dazzle. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. First images from Webb Space Telescope Dazzle. The dazzling first images gleaned by the Webb Space Telescope mark an extraordinary achievement and is the most powerful tool of astronomy ever launched into space. The telescope's infrared resolution is unmatched and is expected to facilitate the observation of the earliest stars, the most distant galaxies, and provide detailed atmospheric analyses of potentially habitable planets. This week's release of Webb's first images heralds the beginning of the telescope's science operations. Over the next months, astronomers around the world will observe a plethora of objects both within and greatly displaced from our solar system. In a very real sense, humankind is about to embark on a whole new age of space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope launched December 25, 2021 from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana, South America. After completing a complex orbital deployment sequence, Webb underwent months of commissioning during which its mirrors were aligned and its instruments calibrated to the space environment. NASA predicted the Webb telescope would see an operational life of 10 years. However, owing to fuel savings resultant of the mission's superbly accurate launch and deployment sequence, the space agency projects Webb may now remain functional for as long as 20 years. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.